Welcome to Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Our text today at our devotional time is going to be in 2 Kings chapter 25, and we'll look at verses 27 through 29, and uh, you know, uh, it may not be familiar to you, but I think it'll, it'll really work out here for us. Now it came to pass in the 37th year of the captivity of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, in the 12th month of the 27th day of the month, that Elamach, king of Babylon, in the year that he began to reign, released Jehoiakim, king of Judah, from prison. He spoke kindly to him and gave him a more prominent seat than those of the kings who were with him in Babylon. So Jehoiakim changed from his prison garment, and he ate bread regularly before the king all the days of his life. Now, as we look around the world today, it's easy for us to feel out of place. And I think this is the message of the Bible. You know, we, we, we're strangers, we're exiled, we're, we're pilgrims on our way to a promised land of eternity with God in heaven. We're just strangers here on earth. We're just passing through. And, and Jehokaman here was the second of the last kings of Judah, but he had been ported to Babylon, and Judah, Zedekiah, would be the last king to reign in Jerusalem before it was destroyed. And his fate was worse than his predecessors. You think, well, they've been deporters. What's worse about that? But here we'll get into that. You know, because his, of his rebellion against King Nebuchadnezzar, his sons were killed, he was blinded, he was changed, and taken to Babylon. Now, here he is. He's blinded. His children have been killed. He's been taken into Babylon. And, and, and now then, how would the people of Jerusalem still know that God was with them? Well, God does some miraculous things. He done them then. He's still doing them now. Or he does some incredible things. Maybe we use that word. You know, this king... Moagach was succeeder of Nebuchadnezzar. And as king, he honored the former king of Judah who is in exile. God shows his people favor and reminds them of his presence with them at all times in all places. Here he is. He's in bondage. He's blinded. He's in prison. And he spoke, this king spoke kindly to him gave him more prominent seat than those of the kings who were with him in Babylon. So Jehoiakim changed his, from his prison garment, and he ate bread regularly before the king all the days of his life. You know, the rest of his life was great compared to what others were doing. And I think God is still working. I don't think I know God is still working, preserving his people. You know, we haven't reached the promised land. We haven't reached there. But his eye is still on us. And his hands will guide us until we get safely home. You know, I have to use a GPS to get a lot of places today. But God's GPS is right on. He knows where I'm at at all times. He knows where I'm going. And one day is going to accumulate in me being in the presence of God. How about you? Can you say in confidence, I know, I know, I know I'm saved by the grace of God. If you can't, friend, you need to find a way to learn about God. Come and be a part of our services here at Temple. We teach the Bible to you. We teach Jesus and Him crucified for the sins of mankind. In our Sunday morning, our first service is at 8 o'clock. Our Sunday school classes are at 9. Second service is at 10. Sunday night, we have 6 o'clock classes. And Wednesday night, we have 7 o'clock services. So come and be a part of those. May God bless you is our prayer.